got no heaven by his side is the worst of his kind got his fingers burned one more time trading his freedom for a dime the more he gives the more he needs leaves everything and complete the young mountain got no lovers by his side and that suits him He left home at 16, touches on his skin, left the mountain to be free. His baby said, boy, get out of here, you ain't my man. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm the lawyer Timothy Suffolk from Santa Fe. Frank Deville. Here is my assistant. He seems angry. <laughs> hmm. Please follow me. What do you want, lawyer? <coughs> I was sent by my client from Chicago. Ten days ago, the corpse of an Indian girl was found. She had strayed from her community to wash clothes on the banks of the San Juan River. Do you know anything about it? You see, Sheriff, my client has started negotiations with the Navajos to obtain the permission for drilling exactly in that territory. As you well know, there is a black gold mine over there. And the murder of the girl? What does that have to do with all this? From the initial investigation, the girl was killed by two white men. And this undermines the efforts of my client to obtain the concession. The footprints of the two killers led me here, in this town. And it could mean a big trouble for you too, Sheriff. <laughs> but let's get to the point. My client doesn't want to let slip this trade, and he could be grateful to those who will help him to settle this matter. We believe that you are the man. What would be my role? Some tribe members opposing the project assert this murder is a warning sent from my client, and that's the point. Sheriff, find the culprits alive at any cost. The girl left the village around noon, reached the river, and probably met her killers. Her clothes were ripped, a sign that she was raped, and her chest was pierced by three 38 bullets. My client is willing to reward you with $10,000 if you find the culprits alive. You don't want to be the sheriff of this shitty town for the rest of your life, do ya? Are you blackmailing me, lawyer? Oh, no. I'm a man of law as you are. I will never dare. Have a good day, Sheriff. Ah, Sheriff. I almost forgot another detail that may have a connection with the murder. About five miles from the site of the murder, the Indians found the carcass of a bighorn devoured by vultures without the head. It suggests that the hunters took that as a trophy, a ritual that only white people do, not redskins. Settle this matter. 
as soon as possible. We need those bastards to do our business and you need money to enjoy the rest of your life. Thanks for the drink. the truth. About what? What happened the last time you went hunting with Benito? We turned a May bigger. You've seen the trophy, right? What happened to your eyebrow? I told you, Dad. I fell down on the rocks. What happened to your eyebrow? Roy, an Indian girl was raped and murdered by the river. And you've been there. It was Benida. It was Benida. Tell me what happened! It, it, it happened in an instant. We met a girl along the river. When Benida saw her, he, he went crazy. He, he jumped on her. And after he had raped her, he, 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 shot, he shot a bullet in her chest. I, I swear that I have nothing to do with this. I was a quarter mile away. I, I couldn't do anything. He, he was possessed. I, I've never seen him like that. Please, please, Dad. Dad, don't arrest me. Don't arrest me. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? I know. I know you. You hate me. You hate me because because I'm not like you, but I didn't do anything. It was Benito. I told you. It was Benito. Let's go to Benito's. No, no, please! Dad! I hate you, Dad! Please! No! I don't know what's wrong with me. What have I done to deserve all this? You don't love me. You are an old bastard. I'm like this. And it's your fault. You have never taken care of me since Mama's died. I've grown up like a fucking beast. Dad.
Come in. Oh, <laughs> Sheriff. Perfect timing. I see you captured one of the two culprits, and as you can see, my client kept his promise. Save your breath, lawyer. I don't want your fucking money. You are a man with healthy principles, Sheriff. Deliver me the culprit then. The culprit is my son. As the sheriff of this town, I demanded the offender as a regular process. But my client... I don't care about your client. Keep the money and get out of my town. Okay, let's make a deal. Deliver me the other culprit then. I need to show evidence to the Navajos. Remember that? The other one is Benito Chavez. You can find his corpse in his cottage behind the hill. My people are there. If you need evidence, you can find the head of the big horn on the table. I think that would be enough for the Navacos. You don't understand. The Indians want the guilty, alive. Deliver me your son. Get out of here. Oh, I'm sorry that this situation has turned into a personal matter for you. But now you're not protecting your son, you're protecting a murderer. Well, Sheriff. as you want. Give me the key, Sheriff, or you're both dead. Son is worth nothing. Like yours. Come on. Don't touch me. Not that. Please help me out. That. No, that. Please. You seem angry.
happening? Get me out of here. Give me your gun. Give him a drink. I don't like being followed, Sheriff. What do you want? I want my son. He's not your son anymore. I already told you that. Put the gun down. He will be punished by law, not by a bounty hunter who pretends to be a lawyer. You're a murderer, just like everyone here. And you are an idealist who doesn't understand anything. What is your life? My life? The life of your son compared to what will be built here one day. Under my feet, there is one of the richest oil and gas fields in all of America. And it won't certainly be Mandy Redskins as a stubborn sheriff with his retarded son who will stop these plans. Our miserable lives are worthless than nothing. Deville, I've offered you a chance to have some crumbs from the great banquet. But you have closed the door in my face and now you want to block my way. I won't allow it. You can't stop what has already been set in motion. Sheriff Frank DeVille. I will remember you as the first man I ever killed. <laughs> I always knew that sooner or later I should get my hands dirty. Good. <laughs> I'll enjoy it. <laughs> you imagined a different ending, huh? That you could live the rest of your miserable lives surrounded by dollars, alcohol, Harlots, but your beloved son gave you a nasty surprise, and now. <coughs>
I sit in the sunset, gazing clouds across the sky. The silver line in fading all along the rising line. You whisper still rings in my ears. Tomorrow I have to leave. I'm floating in the morning breeze like a flower. Flower in the wind, flower in the wind. Night is falling, wind is blowing. Strike a match and light a lamp. Many years spent praying, have I ever learned to care? Troubles back the bar, the floor, the smell of gasoline. Gonna burn that all and live my home. I'm a flower in the wind, a flower in the wind, a flower in the wind. Flowers in the wind. Flowers. 